This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome to the show. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefit. <laughs> Uh, the benefits of business ownership. The earth says hello. Hmm. Okay. I'll take that. Um, hey, listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, either one is awesome with me. Leave a comment like Catherine has done. Say hi, say hello, say, um, whatever you want, as long as it's nice. Leave that in the comments. It encourages me to let me know that you are here. So first of all, uh, I had a couple of questions yesterday about a book that I mentioned. Let's see if I can put this in the comments from here. I can. Extreme Ownership. Yeah, O-W-N. I, see, it's hard for me to spell and talk at the same time. And that, and that, and there. So there's the book. Hopefully I'll show up. There we go. The book I was talking about yesterday, Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willick. And a link where you can go pick that up on Amazon, which, by the way, helps out the show if you choose to do it that way. So uh, yesterday we were talking about how you can't be, you can't claim responsibility for your victories if you don't also claim responsibility for your losses. And a lot of this uh, comes from, is rooted in, Hey, Mr. Hanley, good to see you this morning. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, a lot of this is rooted in the idea that, um, that maturity is actually a measure of how much, <coughs> excuse me. Maturity is a measure of how much responsibility you have accepted for the outcome, not how old you are now, how, how long you've been working somewhere. That's experience. Maturity is how much responsibility you are willing to accept for your own outcomes. And that led me to uh, another thought. I was reading, um, <laughs> reading the comments on another, on, uh, on Reddit yesterday in one of the entrepreneur forums. And the writer was talking about how they had had an experience in a particular store and how that experience made them feel. And I, my, I get that. I understand that sentiment, but I also understand it from the context that nobody can make me feel anything. That feeling is my choice. They can set up the circumstances for me to feel that way. They can do things to try and elicit or unintentionally, I guess, that will elicit a particular emotion or feeling, but how I feel about it is mine. I own that. So when you get mad at, I mean, get mad. When we turn around, it just lays right in with our, our quote from the day yesterday. You can't be upset with somebody else for how you feel. You think about that for just a minute. And if, as if me telling you that was not good enough, here's a quote, uh, if I can get this right, from Eleanor Roosevelt. Actually, I don't have it right here, but I think I can do this one from memory. No one can make you feel inferior without your permission. That's from uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. The point being, no one can shame me. No one can put me down. No one can make me feel inferior or less than who I am, or for that matter, feel anything unless I choose to feel that way. But now the flip side of that is true also. They can't build me up. They can't make me proud. They can't, um, you know, dump positive emotions in my lap either. I choose those also. So now if we put all this jumbled together, right? That 
you can't claim victory. You can't claim credit for your victories unless you claim credit for your losses. Nobody can make you feel inferior without your permission. Now we've got this, we've got this view outward that says, here's how I can go forward and make things work. And, and this particular challenge manifests itself in so many different ways, but the way that I see it so very often is, well, I've got one or two things I have to figure out and then I'll start. This whole idea that we can have all the answers, right, is, is a product of this. Um, that, that we, that we have to be able, we're smart, we should be able to gather all the information and know all the answers before we begin anything. And that's just not true. It, it's just not true. I've used the analogy here many times before. I can't teach you algebra until I teach you arithmetic. We got to get through the arithmetic part before the algebra starts making sense. So here's your uh, challenge for the day today, right? Anytime today, throughout the day today, as you're about to choose an emotional response, catch yourself and ask yourself, is this the right response to this stimulus? It, it requires practice. That's all. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> it's a lot more complicated than that. But uh, that's what it takes in order to be successful. It is Tuesday, and I got a boogie. It's Tuesday. That means radio show is coming up, uh, talk radio for entrepreneurs. I have no idea what our topic's going to be today. You can tune in and find out about the same time I do. All right? That's it for today. I'll be back here again tomorrow. Uh, same time, same channel. Um, and if, again, just to point out, I left a link in the comments, the book we were talking about yesterday, Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willick. If you'd like to pick that up, it's a fantastic gift for Christmas. All right, that's it for today. Talk to you guys again tomorrow. Have a terrific Tuesday.